Hello, everyone. Welcome to the TimeSketch Summit Lightning Talks. I will be doing a lightning talk on the ephemeral, the GER timelining, and TimeSketch, because it is the TimeSketch Summit. Uh, I'm Tom. I'm a security engineer in the DFIR team at Google. Uh, I'm Tom Chop on the Bluebird site. And I happen to be the main author of the Time Wolf, which I am going to talk about next. The Time Wolf, what is it? I hear you scream to your screens. Well, it's a CLI utility, which acts as the glue between all our systems. Uh, we use it to save a bunch of times. It interacts with the systems using modules, which we call collectors, like GER, processors, like Plazo, and exporters like the module that interacts with TimeSketch. And how these modules are chained together is explained through recipes. Uh, we are open source, so you can grab a fresh copy of TimeWolf on the link right there. For those of you who don't know GER, because after all, this is TimeSketch Summit, not the GER Summit, GER is an agent-based remote DFIR tool. It is cross-platform, and it allows our team to collect files, artifacts, and new also file system timelines. So this is pretty exciting and very, very useful for us uh, to do. And we're, this is the demo we're going to show. So TimeWolf answers some of our problems, namely clicking through a lot of UIs. Uh, you always end up clicking, scrolling, and waiting, and clicking, and you don't know if you clicked on the right place and so on. Uh, it can be a little annoying. So can be CLIs, like what are the flags again? Anyone who's used TAR before knows what I'm talking about. What's the order of the flags? please help, or you know, did I have to call this with sudo or not? Uh, we also have answers to documentation questions, like do I have to append API at the end of my URL? Uh, or like, what kind of format does this tool take? I can't remember if it's zip, tar, whatever. And also, TimeWolf helps with layer 8 bit flips or human errors. Um, so did I invoke this the BSD or the Unix way, or um, copy and paste errors? You've always happened to copy and paste and miss like one quote that is going to mess up your command line, or just you know typos. So I mentioned recipes earlier on. And this is an example of how you would call the recipe that will give you a timeline in TimeSketch. So basically, it's dftimewolf and then the recipe name. So in this case, it's gur timeline ts. The host that you want to analyze, uh, the access reason. So this usually is going to be your incident ID or the description of, uh, of the incident. It's going to be used later on in the time sketch description. Uh, and the sketch ID, uh, in this case, 666, uh, which is optional. Uh, if you don't specify a sketch ID, then time will first create a new sketch in time sketch for you. Um, and you can see that it takes one parameter, uh, the host name, into GER. GER is going to create a zip file with the contents of the flow results. Uh, it's going to pass that onto Plaso. Uh, and the, in the case of the timeline flow, the, the zip file will contain a body file. Plaza will parse the body file into a Plaza file, and that will be uploaded to TimeSketch. And it will create a nice, nifty timeline for you. Anyways, so demo time. Uh, this is going to be pretty intense because we're doing something that has never been done before, which is a recording of a recording in a recording. So time will flow at different speeds. Let's start off by showing how you would launch this new flow using GER. So this is the GER UI that you're all used to. Uh, and if we play, we can go to, for example, start a new flow, which is how you would uh, do this. But before, we have to look for the host. Once we have located our host, we can start a new flow. Uh, where, is, where is the flow that we need to launch? Is it in file system? It's a file system timeline. No, it's in collectors. This is typically one of the quirks in the UI that TimeWolf aims to abstract away from you. You also have a bunch of options that you don't really know what to do. TimeWolf knows for you, and it will know what to launch and what options to use if they're always the same. Um, how does this look like in the command line? It is very underwhelming, but very colorful as well. So. I hope this is something that you enjoy. So you end up typing timewolf, your timeline ts, and all the arguments that we specified before. The, we're using the gur ID, the gur client ID instead of the host name in this case. And we type sketch ID 96. So you can see timewolf loading all its things, setting up all the modules, 
running the timeline collector, finding the client, running the flow, waiting for the flow to finish. The flow has completed the finish. You can see that we hopped from 13 to 17 minutes right there. Uh, I made it shorter for you to make this a lightning talk and not a super slow thunder talk. Um, Plazo runs from the Docker container, uh, and the Plazo file is created. Everything gets uploaded to TimeSketch through the TimeSketch exporter. Uh, it also takes a little while, because uh, Plaza files can be fairly big. Uh, but at the end, you will see a nice nifty URL containing um, your sketch. And there you have it. You have the sketches 96 right here. Uh, and TimeWolf displays a very happy message saying, like, yep, I'm done with this. How does this look like in TimeSketch? Um, it's worth saying that the whole process took only 15 minutes in the timestamps. You can probably see it again if you look at the recording of this. Um, but yes, so it took 15 minutes. It's a fairly slow, low usage system, so this is why it was so quick. Uh, and Plaza was pretty quick. So this is a time sketch UI. You click on the timeline that you just generated, and you can see all the files of the system are right there. So if you're doing forensics, you might want to look in TMP, and maybe you'll find some very nasty malware. And yes, there it is, the stealth malware. Um, you can see it's all based on the Mac timeline and the Mac time body file. The file size for this malware is fairly small. I can let you guess how I generated it. Um, it's using Echo. Anyways, so yes, there you have it. This is all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please let me know in the TimeSketch channel if you have any more questions about this flow. Uh, thanks, everyone. Bye.